Before I start this episode, be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe if you do enjoy it. And if you are enjoying the series, be sure to put any comment down if you want to make any recommendation or you want to see me do anything, any type of video. Be sure to put it down, and I'll be sure to look at it. And I said, be sure too many times. Enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on, guys? As you can see, I'm here at the D case. I have already done one round, but I haven't really got any good drops. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing a full. I believe this is one and a half at five minutes. This is one hour thirty-five minute trip. So yeah, if I do get anything from this, I will be sure to record. I didn't record the introduction because I was recording for another video that will most likely be out already. So yeah, if I do get anything, I'll be sure to record and I'll record the total loot at the end of this trip. Oh my God, Berserker ring! Another one of these things. It's very nice. Got quite a few of them already. Cool. And another one of these. Oh my god, I think I've got like seven in the bank right now. That shit be crazy with the berserker rings. Cool. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm here at the bank with the loot from that DK strip. I did get 117 kills. And I got 118 hides because I got an extra hide from when I first went in. I got two berserker rings that trip. No dragon hatches, unfortunately, but 6.2 mil for about an hour and 45 minutes of DKs. So that's just amazing, and that's going to go straight into the drops tab. Hey, what's going on, guys? As you can tell, or oh, I hope you can, seeing as where I am, I'm going to be doing an hour of QBD, for, as you can see from my overloads. And yeah, I'm going to hopefully be recording all the chest loots, and then I'm going to show you how much I got at the end from this hour of QBD. I might do more or less than an hour, just depends on how I feel. And yeah, I haven't done this in a while, so it's, it's nice and consistent. So I should be making about 3 million this hour. We'll just have to wait and see. Once again, sorry for the background noise in that previous clip. And what you're going to see in the background here is clips of the 9 kills I did get from QBD. I'm just showing you all the loot I did get. So enjoy. I won't be commenting over this because it would be quite hard for me to comment here. I'll just have to ramble like I'm doing right now. And the Royal Torsion Spring. Nice. I'll leave you for the rest of the drops. Hey what's going on guys, as you can see I'm outside the Bandos stream with 40kc, now I'm going to have to hop to find the free world because this world is taken. Let's just hope I can get some drops here, I haven't been here in quite a while, and when I did come here the only drop I did get was a Bandos hilt which is under a mill. Let's just hope I can get some armor that's not the war shield which is also about 500k which is nothing. All the other armor pieces are worth quite a bit so let's just hope I can get them, wish me luck. I'll be sure to record if I do get any good drop and I'll record the total loot at the end of this trip. Oh my fucking god, this is amazing. I can't believe this. Second kill in, I'm only on 6kc. Bandos chest play. Holy moly, I've never actually been this lucky at Bandos. I've never gotten a good drop here, and I just can't believe it. I'm gonna pick this up and then price check it at the end of the trick. I'm just gonna keep going now. I'm just really happy. Positivity! I was actually expecting this to happen. I was gonna get a Bandos drop, and there wouldn't be anything good. Whoa! Elite Cruise Call, I thought there was something good there. I got a Bandos War Shield which is under 100k but I'm not going to complain, I've already got a BCP this trip. So I'm going to pick that up and bank it anyway just because it's kind of rare. Meh, I'm happy. What's going on guys, I'm here at the Ports Bank which is where I usually go to price check my stuff, it's just something I feel like doing. With the loot from that Bandos trip I did get about 110kc around about that and I say that trip was pretty successful, just over an hour and I got two Bandos items even though one of them is the War Shield. The other one is a nice chest play. Let's see how much that was. 7.8 mil almost for just over an hour of Bandos. That is pretty nice. That's going straight in the drops tab. 34 kills and 2 Bandos items. You really can't complain there. So yeah, that was good. Hey, what's going on guys? As you can see, I'm here at the Glaco Cave. I'm going to be doing about 50 minutes worth of Glacos just to try and collect some shards of Armadil. If I do get any bootstraps, that's obviously going to be a massive bonus. I just want to build up a couple of shards of Armadil so later on I can hopefully make my own battle staff and make some nice profits. 
I am here at the bank with the loot from that 50 minutes of DKs. Unfortunately, I didn't get any boot drops, but I can't really complain. I've got Glavens and Steadfast already. So altogether, that's 366k in just in an hour. Glacos are really not that good unless you get boost drops. But when you do get the boost drops, then it's just insane. I also managed to get 5 shards of armor during that trip, bringing my total to 24. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to finish it in this series, but we'll just have to wait and see. So in total guys the drops tab is now worth 164 mil and I believe full tova is worth just over 170 mil so I'm very very close I believe I should get it within the next episode or two depending on how lucky, uh, lucky sorry, I get with drops but yeah if you did enjoy this episode be sure to comment rate and subscribe to my channel look out for the next episode coming out soon peace out.